So the one thing that keeps coming back on me that I keep thinking about is how different my life is compared to the rest of my family and how unfair it seems. Like, let's just take, for instance, Kathy and me. When my mother passed away last year, I was under extreme pressure from multiple directions. There were four or five different YouTubers harassing me, threatening to put me in jail, calling me a bad person for not giving up an organ to my mother who wouldn't even give me a conversation at the time, and my aunt instigating so much of it. How was I supposed to cope with my mother's passing? Do y'all know what Kathy had to deal with when her mother died? Kathy was living in her mother's house when her mother died. Kathy was sleeping in her mother's bed with her sister when her mother died. Kathy was moments away from her mother when she died. She had her family around her. She had help and support the entire time. She never had a single person telling her she needed to do something or her mother was going to die. She didn't have anybody telling her it was her fault for not being there enough. And they could have because Kathy wasn't there. Those last couple of decades of Kathy's mother's life, Kathy was not there. But she was still allowed to grieve her in peace, wasn't she? She was still allowed to say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to say goodbye to my mother. Death can make you act weird. Kathy was horrible when her mother died. And I don't hold that against her because I know that death can make you do stupid things. Kathy banned me from the vehicles on the day of my grandmother's funeral. The only reason I got a ride to my grandmother's funeral is because I left out on foot and her family saw me and asked me what I was doing and I had to tell them, I don't have a ride. Your mother banned me from all of the vehicles and has taken the keys to the one I inherited. The vehicle I inherited, of course, would never go to me anyways because Kathy would take everything I was inherited. The last time I spoke to most of my family was at my grandmother's funeral. And I knew I would never speak to most of them again. And I was fine with that. If they had stayed gone. But they didn't stay gone, did they? Because now here's Kathy and her children to hurt me every day. And I'm not doing this to them. As much as they like to proclaim that they only do to me what I've done to them. Kathy was sleeping in her mother's bed as her mother died. How is that not letting her have what she needs to cope and grieve? How did I deny her any chances to be with her mother, to cope with her mother's passing? She denied me every opportunity to mentally process it with her constant harassing and the fact that she has 10,000 people willing to harass me for her. She doesn't have to do any work anymore. I don't blame my family for the way they are. I forgave them a long time ago. I know they can't help it. My sisters can't help the way they feel because they were raised to feel the way they feel. They don't know different. 
and they don't want to accept different because that changes their entire world and nobody wants their entire world shifted. Nobody. People will deny the truth until their deathbeds just to maintain the world view that they know and feel comfortable with. It doesn't mean it's okay. This is a nightmare for me. And I just want to be free. And I know they're going to say, well, you can just not be online. Sure. And then when I'm not online, what am I? I'm alone. Entirely alone. I have zero friends, zero family, zero support. Telling somebody they're just... Telling somebody completely alone in life that they're also not allowed to be online. You're, you're telling them they might as well die. And that's not something for other people to choose. <laughs> not only was I not allowed to grieve my mother, my aunt visited the grave with apple juice just to hurt me worse. And as much as she wants to say that I do everything to her, I never once visited any of her family members' graves to make a video that would break her heart. And I never would. Because it's wrong. The way my family treats people is wrong. That's why I don't want to be a part of them. Because I can realize that it's wrong. And them and their thousands of manipulative, narcissistic, blood-hungry fans can't see wrong from right when they're staring right at it. And Kathy can write it off and say that she was grieving her sister and didn't know what she was doing, okay? Why does that mean you're allowed to f abuse me, to emotionally distress me? You lost your sister. Yeah, she was my mom. It's suddenly okay for you to attack me when we both lost somebody. But all that matters is Kathy's feelings. Kathy's well-being. Kathy, who is always surrounded by loving family and everything she needs. It's always about her. Even when I was living on a tent and a sidewalk, everybody was focused on Kathy. All I want is the chance to live. <laughs> to know what it feels like to be allowed to live. To have an event in my life where my family isn't turning on me and blaming me and pointing fingers at me, even when I'm not around. But I'm the scapegoat in an abusive family. And that's my job in life, is to be hated and to take their abuse and to take all of their pain into me so they don't have to have it. And I don't want to live that life anymore. Because it hurts. I want to have a chance to have my own happiness. <laughs> Without my family throwing things at me to stop me. Without them threatening to hire hitmen to pull me down. <laughs> when do I have a chance at life? I'm 38 years old next month. When am I allowed to live. <laughs>